Okay, now that we've looked at where you should use apostrophes, which is to say for contractions and possessives, we also want to look at where not to use apostrophes. Because basically, unless you have a possessive or a contraction, you don't really usually have a need to use an apostrophe. There are a few obscure situations where you would, but most of the time, the only time you use an apostrophe is if you have a contraction or a possessive. So that means there's no apostrophe. For example, for things like plural nouns. Which is to say, if you have more than one horse, if you have two horses, there is no apostrophe here, because that's just a plural. Uh, or two bananas, or whatever. No apostrophe if it's just a plural, and that even includes a, a person's name, if you're talking about a family name. Uh, so there's no apostrophe. Uh, some people seem to think, well, there's an S. Doesn't that mean there has to be an apostrophe? Uh, and in fact, this apostrophe has been so overused, it's even called the greengrocer's uh, apostrophe, uh, because apparently people in supermarkets like to stick these apostrophes in and they'll say bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A apostrophe S, uh, two for a dollar or whatever. So no apostrophes when you're just making the plural. There's also no apostrophe if you're making the S form of verbs. So for example, if I want to say Wally runs fast, There is no apostrophe here. If there were an apostrophe, it would have to be either a contraction, which would be Wally run is fast, or it would have to be a possessive, which it can't be run is a verb and not a noun. There's nothing that belongs to run. So now here's the one area where people most get tricked. And that is we looked at possessives of nouns, but if you have possessive pronouns, Possessive pronouns do not use apostrophes. Um, and part of the reason for that is if you were to put an apostrophe in, um, then the reader would have trouble telling. Is this a contraction or is this really a possessive or what? And so for possessive pronouns, there's no apostrophe. So for example, if I want to say something uh, is of you or belonging to you, Y-O-U-R without the apostrophe is belonging to you, or of you. You will notice there is no apostrophe there. Uh, if you had the one with the apostrophe, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, that's the one that says, that's the contraction for you are. And this is probably the issue that most confuses people, is do we use an apostrophe with a possessive pronoun? And the answer is no. Now, how the heck are you going to test for that? If you're not quite sure what you're dealing with, the test for that is can you spell it out? Because if you can spell it out, then what you're dealing with is a contraction. And so you will use an apostrophe. Um, basically, uh, again, as we looked at in the previous video, uh, you put the apostrophe where things are left out. So that's your test. If you can't spell it out, then you don't have a contraction. So you have no apostrophe. So that's something to remember. If you can contract it, it's got an apostrophe. If you can't uh, spell it out, then it's no apostrophe. And for example, uh, if I have this sentence, the kitten chased its tail. What we want to do to test this, to see whether we use an apostrophe over here, we can say, or we can try to say, the kitten chased it is tail. That does not make sense. So we know we can't spell it out. 
So that's not a contraction, so there is no apostrophe. On the other hand, if I have something like this, it's never too late to adopt a kitten or two Um, what we can do, once again, we can test this. If we can spell it out, we can say it is never too late to adopt a kitten or two. So what that means is this is a contraction, so we do use the apostrophe. So that's your test. Uh, if you can spell it out, there is the apostrophe. If you can't spell it out, no apostrophe.